Alright, hello everybody, welcome to the stream. Once again, my name is Technomagus, and we are going to do one last day of EG. Um, so, we've gone through the game twice, once on normal as a perfect pacifist, and once on hard as a cold-blooded murderer. Uh, I'm not going to be playing through the game a third time. Um, I'm nowhere near skilled enough to be able to do extreme or ultimortal. Uh, extreme difficulty basically requ uh, lowers the level maximum that uh, hard has. I believe it's only three levels per stage instead of four. And then ultimortal, you're only allowed one level per stage, and you're only allowed to apply it to health. Not only that, but you're on a timer, and if you run out of time, you auto-die. So, yeah. We're not doing that. Instead, we're going to go through some of the extras. So, first thing is, uh, we get the poster viewer, which is unlocked as soon as we get the uh, as soon as we get our first poster. I'm missing two posters. Uh, posters are in order. Uh, first row is sectors one through five. Second row is sectors six through ten. So I need sector three and sector six. That's what we're going to be getting today. Uh, gives a brief explanation of what the posters are. No, Meep. I have no idea what you signed up for. Uh, also, for beating the game on normal, we unlock the ability to play single sectors. Uh, we basically play any sector uh, solo instead of having to go through the entire game for it. Um, for beating the game on hard, we get to play Hero 3D, which is a little side game. Meep, you need to learn what sarcasm is. For beating the game on normal, we unlock the ability to get sector masters, these little tiny... Uh, maps that show the layout of the stage, and the flashing check mark is where the poster is hidden in the stage. In the case of Sector 3, where we don't have the poster, it's a flashing X instead, so there's one that we need to get, and then the other one is over here in Sector 6. Sudden Death Sector, where which we got for being the game on hard, is similar to the single sector play, only uh, basically one hit kills anything. Uh, everybody only has one HP instead of their normal amount. Turbo mode, we don't get until we beat it on Ultimortal, which basically doubles the speed of the game. The Scrambler is a unique item you get uh, for defeating a certain mini-boss in one of the stages that complete makes complete gibberish of all of the text in the game. And then we also get the sound test for beating the game on normal, where we get to hear Not so tough anymore, huh? some, of the different ca uh, some of the different voice acting lines. So let's go ahead and start off... We're going to so we're going to go ahead and do single sector for sector three, so that we can get the poster. All right. So it starts you off at the max level for the prior stage with no upgrades equipped. So you'll need to uh, spend those when you get the first chance. Also, as you notice, uh, the unlike in a pacifist run, Balateki is not here to say hi to us. So it is considered to be a killer run. Yeah. So let's go ahead and just start getting some upgrades. Probably, but the next version of the demo has to come out first. Alright, so, anyway, let's go ahead and try that again, hopefully uh, less dying horribly. Actually, get to the level 5, so that... One of my secrets is to play ahead of time so I know where everything is and I know what to expect.
All right, try that again. So, in the single sector play, uh, killer versus pacifist doesn't matter, so we're just going to kill everything we can. Oh, whoops. Um, it depends on the difficulty level you play it on. Normal, it is tricky but doable. Hard is pretty hard. And then there's Extreme and Ultimortal, which get even more ridiculous. Whoop. Not really. Normal is basically the closest thing the game has to an easy mode. So let's go ahead and get. Well, health is always important. Being in good health means that you can do stuff. So you want to make sure that you stay in good health. Let that guy get eaten. Yeah. Hmm. No, oh, we're not breaking that door. I wish I didn't die there, but oh well. This may take a bit. <laughs> Alright, try this again. So, anyway, there, there's nothing really new. That's because Hitbox has less of a wait time than Twitch does. What the? Wow, that was terrible. Alright, um...
both have their advantages and their disadvantages, I guess. Um, like, Twitch does have, does allow you to get a bigger audience. Damn it! It's not that hard. task at hand, which is getting through this level so we can get to the poster. Let's not go up that way. The killer playthrough is significantly easier. One, because you have. Um, Ow. Because on the, the pacifist playthrough, you're not allowed to. Uh, you're not allowed to kill anything uh, intentionally. Now, of course, there are ways to get unintentional kills. Uh, for example, if you don't fire the shot, it doesn't count towards your kill score. Yeah! <laughs> 
Uh, no, actually, I use FF Split. Sometimes it's just easier to boot the crap out of everything in front of you. So, now, to get the poster in this stage, because um, we're right at, towards the end of it, first, we have to clear that up there. Um, let me see here. So, do I have something I can get up that, that can shoot up there? I need a rocket launcher. Uh, yes, actually, I do. I screwed this up. Well, looks like we have to reset the sector, because I need to have the rocket launcher at this point, and I don't. Alright, so let's try this again. So the goal here is to have uh, the rocket launcher and uh, at least a four strength by the end of this sector. Oh. That's right, there's a rocket launcher on the other side of this area. Everything we need now, so let's go ahead and get that uh, 
get that final poster. Well, second to last poster. Just enough levels, wow. There we go. Oh, that was close. <laughs> okay, so we almost took a rocket to the face and bad things would have happened. But thankfully we didn't. Alright, so now that we have spread rockets... Uh, we need to fire them to break that glass. And then... We need to lure this guard, kick her, so that she gets over to here, and then convince her to fire a rocket so that we can rocket jump. Come on. Come on. Come on, rocket. And for doing all of that, we get a log book. Um, all of the Tazen aliens, with, the, with like, three exceptions, are female. Uh, a couple of the Kamado are male. But here, we get the, uh, we get the poster showing, uh, General, uh, what's, what's his name? Uh, the Tazen general, basically. No, not really. Uh, it's not a Gerudo case. It's just that the deployed troops happen to be exclusively female, with a few exceptions. Alright, but either way, we've beaten the level, the poster is unlocked. Uh, we don't actually have to finish the level to keep the poster unlocked, but I'm going to anyway. Terra, that was his name. Oh, right. That was loud. And for Terra's name. No, no, that that's actually not at all. It's the, the thing you have to keep in mind in the storyline for EG, the Tazen are on the run from the Komodo. So pretty much every single one of their troops are soldiers. It just so happens that it happened to be a primarily female force that was deployed to Earth. All right, so anyway, we've got the poster for Sector 3, so now let's go ahead and get the poster for Sector 6. This one is the uh, a bit harder to get. And actually, it's uh, it's mostly Word of God, or in this case, Dan Remar, who says that all of the deployed Tazen are female. Alright, so actually I need to get a health... Hmm. No, Dan Remar is the name of the guy who created this game. He lives in Sweden. Close. 
Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay, so I have a few extra points to spend. It doesn't require a specific loadout in order to get the... much. It because ROM hacking is very difficult. Alright, let's see here. Get some levels in security cracking. Yep. Oh, well, it didn't quite work. through that door. Awesome. Alright, so... Let's see. Ow. Ah! Alright, momentarily terrifying moment. Give them a minute to calm down up there. down here. Yes. So the goal is to get up there. Uh, I'm trying to remember how exactly to get up there. Uh, 
Oh, that's how. All right, so over here is the is basically how we get to the final poster, and also that guy up there is the bonus boss. So now I need to remember it. Oh, okay, now I remember how to do this. Um, I need. Okay. Here's what we need to do. We need to reset stats. And we need to max out Tazen, Komato, and Crack. Because there is a certain weapon that we need. that I actually will not be getting until much later in the level. So now I have to be really careful with my health. Oh, this is going to be fun. You know what? I missed. There we go. Hmm. Well, right down there is what we need, because we need the CFIB, or CFIS, in order to activate the Velocithor. <laughs> So now that we have the CFIS... Uh, we'll go launching that guy. Mm, gotta go back. The two most powerful weapons in the game. Well, the second and third most powerful, I should say. Oops, wrong one. There we go. Alright. Velocithor. Uh, we then have to... Shoot those... And that allows us to jump up here and unlock the final uh, poster. Now, right up there is a bonus boss. I'm there. There, it's basically a suicide to activate that teleporter with the stats that I've got right now, because that is the infamous hacker Yuka Becerra. Uh, he is what is required to unlock the Scrambler, and for basically, with the stats that I've got and the equipment that I've got, I'm not even going to be able to beat him. So we're just... no. And we'll just jump in there anyway, because we're an idiot. Alright, anyway, um, we've got the final poster. Uh, you know what? Screw it, we'll give it another shot. Or I'll just die. That works too. I need to learn to duck. Okay, 
So the important thing is we've gotten all of the posters now. So let's go ahead and quit out to the main menu. So with the uh, so now that we have all ten posters. That unlocks one more thing. So we're going to go back into single sector play for sector one. Huh, huh. So all the way back to the beginning of the game. Because this is where one of the game's biggest secrets is. going to skip the health up because we need the strength. Yeah. Need to get strength up to level 4. Again, pacifist versus killer doesn't matter for this, because we're on single sector play. Now that we have strength level 4, we have everything we need. So we have to break this wall, and in order to do that, we have the Tazen Troop over here. Come on, get over here. Get over here. Come on, a little bit further. And boot. And then we just need to wait for him to realize he has a rocket one. Come on! Stop firing your machine gun! Hey! Rocket launcher. There we go. Thank you! Alright, and now the teleporter is active. Previously it was not. And this takes us to Sector Z. So this place... is a doozy. are, you're probably not going to have very good amount of ammo or abilities or anything like that. None of the enemies here drop uh, nano, so you can't level up in this area. Also, this place is freaking huge, so as you notice by the horribly tanked frame rate. By the way, these guys are actually quite dangerous. As you can see, they deal quite a bit of damage. Or they, they drain your uh, they drain your bar pretty quickly.
So Sector Z is actually composed of four main areas. We're in the first right now. Now, if you're playing Killer versus uh, Pacifist, I do not actually believe... You know what? Let's find out. Okay. Yeah. These guys do not actually count towards your kill. Or towards your kill score in case you're trying to go for a Pacifist route. damage zones. Those spikes will hurt you. anything you don't need to because there are there is no healing in this area yeah by the way if you die you have to go all the way back to the beginning which means you have to go all the way through all of that fun stuff with the the little bubble guys again, and there is no shortcut through this area. At least the background's pretty. Oh, I actually just noticed you only get one HP here. It doesn't refill your HP. Shortcuts with tricky C jumps. And in case you're wondering, no, it's not possible to get here with the machine gun because the machine gun is a point of no return in Sector 1. die in a single hit. Unfortunately, I'm about to die in a single hit. careful about this game. You can only shoot while standing on solid ground. You can't shoot while you're jumping or ducking. It's especially important in this area because uh, one false step and you could very easily be dead.
was right there. Here we go again. actually want to go through this level twice. I'm only going through it once. Um, the second time you want to go through it is after you've unlocked everything else, because there's a bonus weapon, uh, the Null Driver, at the end of this area. And it's the only way to get it, which changes certain aspects of the game. Um, but, again, that requires playing through the game on both Extreme and Ultimortal, which I'm not going to do, because that will take way too long. Second area clear. Now we're in Sector 3, which is actually a reference to another Dan Remar game. Almost done. And Sector 4. Secret Base. Here, the enemies are actually more actively against you. Ah! And the goal here, of course, as always, is to avoid damage. That is a reference to Hero 3D, which is one of the little unlocks that we got earlier, which I'll be showing off after this. Right, come on, get down here. Get down here. I need to shoot you. My 
first time through here, I actually did not know whether or not these guys uh, counted towards kills, so trying to get through here without actually killing anything, that is a trick. another reference to one of Dan Remar's uh, followers. Basically, uh, Dan was showing off uh, the Ultimortal difficulty, and a user named Really Joel said, oh, my dad could do that. So he, it became kind of an in-joke for a lot of his games to have a difficulty called Really Joel's Dad, which is even harder than the hardest difficulty level, and usually requires some kind of crazy stuff to unlock. I was almost at the end, too. <laughs> uh, Alright. And this means we have to go all the way back to the beginning. Once again. go where you want it to go. section clear, only one segment of shield lost, so that's good. Gives me plenty of health to work with for the rest of the area.
fine. We're good. We're not going to lose any in this sector. Enemies are very predictable. They all either go in a circular pattern or back and forth. There is no randomness. You can actually just wait the entire room out. Alright. Now we're back to the secret base once again. sparkly thing is a teleporter to leave this area. But there's one last place I want to go to before we actually leave. And that is down here. Uh, be very careful with your platforming. You don't want to actually miss any of the platforms. Because otherwise you will fall to your death. Is Sector Z. Which is technically considered part of Sector 1. Because it is entered through Sector 1. But now we can bypass the whole having to unlock it to access. Alright guys, so... Um, 
just to show it off, I'll also do a couple of the sudden death sectors. So, but first, I'm gonna take a quick break. Uh, I'll be back in a few minutes, uh, just so I can grab a drink, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. 